hot takes. What's up my friends, I'm the Zim, this is the Zim video. This is a two year anniversary review of playing top four for two years, 730 days in a row. That's right, I've played every single day since I've started, pretty crazy. I know, but that's what we've done. So if you've found this video because you're thinking this is like a how, this is not a how-to video. I made a really long how-to video, Player's Ultimate Guide. You should check it out. I'll link it up in the description. Definitely check that out if you are if you found this top war game and you're trying to figure it out. You know, and also be sure to come back every Wednesday these days. I'm, re I'm streaming Top War live every Wednesday. So just hang out on the channel, subscribe, and you'll see when I go live for Top War. So come back for that but for this video right here i'm calling it top war hot takes these are my hot takes on what top war the game's all about the things that i like that i don't like everything things that i think should be changed there's probably going to be a ton of stuff i'm going to talk about that i want to see changed about the game moving forward um so yeah let's do this, this is kind of free flowing too i'll edit chop it up do a bunch of jump cuts and things but i, I got my game map over here just in case we want to talk about something specific. Um, there's my base right here. I got my arc skin on right now. Love it. Okay, first things first, I wrote down best and worst parts of the game. They'll just start right there. Hot takes, best part of the game. Zim's hot take on best part of the game is the community. Community play. Number one best part of the game is the fact that there's a community you get to play with, you get to know. So. If you're not into community play, I've mentioned this many times before, in many different places, you're not gonna like this game that much. So you, you really wanna play with the community. So keep that in mind. There's lots of ways to access community through the game. There's chats in game, um, Lions chats, world chats. There's um, this, Eng like I'm an English speaker, so I have this English channel chat. There's probably like other things. There's, Lots of ways to communicate with each player. There's private chats. There's also Discord. Discord is a huge part of the this the way this game works. Every alliance starts a Discord. Anyway, community play. I've talked about. Again, go watch that. It's the Ultimate Player's Guide. That I break down a lot of this stuff in there as well. Why community is important. How how it works and all that stuff. Zim's hot takes. Worst part of this game hands down no question as especially because of who i am worst part of the game is the ads they put out for the game why top war and river games puts out just false advertising they do not add advertise the game as the game is they they currently right now we have this whole shaquille o'neal event they have a whole video for shaquille o'neal talking about and it's not the game it's not the game. You even go, we'll even do it right now. We'll go to the app store right here. All these, everything right here, not the game. This is not the game. Why Why are they allowed to put these images and things like that on here? I don't know. I thought there were rules around false advertising that you're. it was illegal to false advertise. Why Top Ward is false advertising the game? Just infuriating. It is, is absolutely infuriating because as a content creator for the game, I want more audience. I want more people to come find me and my game. But you also have other content creators. You also have other people. They see the ad. They go, oh, let me check out this game. They say, not the game. And it gives them a bad mouth. Word, the word of mouth on this game is really bad because Top War puts false advertising out there. They don't advertise the game the way they should. Top War, if you want to advertise the way the, ga the game the way you should, just talk about community play. Talk about the fact that you get to meet. It's an international community. You get to meet people all over the world and play. If you're if you're so embarrassed about your game mechanics, which the game mechanics aren't the best, then don't even mention, don't even talk about fake game mechanics. Don't tell people that there's a different game and try to lure them in. Why you're doing that, it's just, it pisses me off, just to be honest. <laughs> it just makes me so angry because I've invested my time and energy in this game. I've developed a community, and I think that community could be bigger if people, if more people were coming to the game and trusted it. And it's like people are not trusting the game because they don't, you don't advertise it correctly. Anyways, that's that's the number one most infuriating worst part about the game. Who is this game good for? So if you can get past that, if you find somebody like me and you decide, hey, I still want to play this game, right? If you can get past all that, um, who's this game good for? This game good for kind of a couple of different types of people. 
If you like to spend money and you're down with spending money, this is a good game for you. You can spend some money. Yeah, no big deal. Just spend your money and you'll be strong if you want to be the strongest player and all that kind of stuff. Spend the money and you're good to go. If you don't like to spend money and you want to play this game, you really have to shift your mindset around what it is to you. There are ways to be supportive and not spend money. There's two different kind of player types in in-game player types, combat elite, mechanical master. You'll just be a mechanical master and then you'll be a supportive class type of player and you'll help out the stronger players by doing, and you can do that. Um, but a lot of people get disappointed when they realize that they can't be very strong if they don't spend a lot, a, a, a lot of money. It requires a lot, a lot, a lot of money to be the strongest player in this game. So that's that's that thing. Zim's hot take. Okay, here's another hot take on the game. They, um, you know, there's, oh, going back to the spending money idea, what I found is that those of those players that do decide to spend all the money and become the strongest think they know the most about the game when in fact they don't know really anything about the game they're just strong about the game so and it kind of plays into game mechanics a little bit you know unfortunately the way this game works is there are some elements new some nuanced elements that if you pick a certain selection of heroes there are clearly better heroes and other heroes and those kind of things however once you get like really strong and you're maxed out it's the amount of players that you are able to compete against is very low so you just dominate over everyone else so there's like it's basically you spend the most you'll be the most powerful regardless of whatever you're doing so when when people talk about all these nuanced game mechanics, I don't they're not as effective as people want to make you believe, especially if you're not spending all the money. So keep that in mind. If you're not spending all the money, you don't really have to pay attention to what heroes are better than other heroes cuz you just have to, you know, have fun doing the, you know, collecting and growing and being a part of the community of the game cuz really this game Zim's hot takes. This game really the 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 idea that it's called top war that war aspect of it is um, kind of a misconception of what the game actually is the game actually is a world building community building game that's that's really what the the game is you level up your base your character your idea you level up your stuff you collect things it's a kind of a busy game there's a lot of just little daily tasks to do that you kind of build up and then there's like these of uh, weekend events eventually as you progress through the game it kind of settles into just doing these weekend events called server versus server events and things like that so that's kind of what the game ends up being so it's 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 heavily weighted toward world building and the the community play of it just being talking to your alliance talking to your server talk you know and just talking to other players and then the battle part is very very minimal compared to the overall uh, what the overall game is so if you're not into that if you require high action battle all the time you're, you're not gonna have long-term enjoyment of this game hot takes zim's hot takes let's go all right some more hot takes. Um, one of the things that comes out a lot about uh, other players, I hear other players talk about, is this idea of how often they kind of release new heroes. Like you got a whole list of heroes here. These are all the heroes that have come out um, and in various different ways. They say they release them too often and those kind of things. Currently, so I've been playing, like I said, two years of playing this game. When you start off the game, there's really high, it's kind of high paced game because there's a lot of little, those tasks, there's a lot of little those tasks to do. As you kind of develop in the game, the tasks kind of go down and it get, becomes a slower kind of game. And so they kind of been releasing new heroes here and there and they've the pace at which they release your heroes. Some, some people say like they release them too, too fast, too often. I do not agree with that. My hot take is that they should release things more often. And lately, it feels like they have been upping the amount of events that are happening and amount of things that are happening within the game. So good job, Top War. I think that's a good thing because eventually as you level up your base, there was a time, and it still kind of is, where the amount of things you can do goes down. Whereas when you first start out, there's so much to do that it, it, it's much more fun gameplay, so to speak, in, in early game than late, than kind of late game, I guess you could say. 
the um the amount of events and things that are happening kind of had been going down but it feels like right now december 2022 feels like they're ramping up the amount of events they've been putting out and they're overlapping more often and just for the things which i think is a good thing for the game in general zim's hot takes how so here's some one thing i think a couple here's i'm going to run down a list of things that top war needs to change uh, first thing and my my number one thing top war needs to change there's this part of the game where you're you build some uh, material, these build these equipments. You build some equipments. You're in here, this this little area. You build equipments. You produce this material so that you can build some equipment that goes on your units. Um, you have these blueprints for the equipments. Number one thing Top War needs to do is it takes a while for your equipment to to build you get it's free to do you just it's just time based so you just have to load up here you have five different slots to keep building something but because it's time based it means it's easy to forget like what it is you're even building in the first place and to try to track that down and try to remember is not always the easiest thing so i would they i this is my number one ask of top war they need to make it so you can take your blueprint that you're working on see i don't even remember what i'm i think so what i was working on was this and i just accomplished it now but i it's really hard to remember it's, it's possible for me to remember what it is like um, like why am i making these chips was it part of that i don't know was that part of this yeah it was part of that so i finally finished off these chips i can make it now so um but while i'm producing it it's really hard to remember what it is you're making so i would like them to put like in the top part of this screen you should be able to pin the thing that you're working on so if i wanted to work on this there should be a little button maybe down on the bottom that you you tap it says pin blueprint and then when you're on this screen it has that blueprint and the three things that you need to make and how much of it you made so far so that it's just clear that it's really easy to know what you need to producing that's my number one ask and change for the game top board my second number two change that i would like to see i would like to fi them to find a way to make the game a little more competitive so that like these whale players don't just dominate it much and one of the ways i think they could accomplish that and to make it a little more fun so right now so talking about we just mentioned how they release heroes they're releasing a lot of new heroes and stuff which is fine the what happens is every new hero typically is just much stronger than any hero that's come along before and i think that's a it's an unfortunate kind of pattern where i i feel like and i would like it if to make the game more competitive is make heroes so they have this thing called suppression where it's army units are stronger than air units navy units are stronger than army units air force units are stronger than navy units it's kind of like the suppression rule that happens I want them to see them implement a sort of suppression rule with heroes. Like no matter what the hero is, if you know, as you, you know, right now it's like everyone just assumes like certain heroes are stronger th th because of the strongest. They just dominate everything. I would like to see them make it so that certain heroes directly counter other heroes to make them nerf. Like you nerf by. By having a certain hero in a march, let's say you have Optimus Prime in a march. If he's in the march, and let's say Megatron, which makes sense in this case, is in the opposite march, Optimus Prime automatically nerfs Megatron, cuts his abilities down significantly. So even if it's a whale type player thinking that they're going to dominate, and there's some less supposedly lesser strong player going up against them and they, they happen to have optimus in their march against a megatron march then they're this whale player is not guaranteed to win or is is probably going to lose a lot more units than they thought they they were going to going into it and they and and it shouldn't be like a one-to-one -one. like megatron and optimus shouldn't cancel each other out you know optimus should be better than megatron megatron could be better than a hero like maximo or something you know like and then maximo could be, you know maximo is a dominant hero anyway but like it's just like where those heroes are and maybe maybe the free to play heroes are those heroes that nerf the pay to play heroes in a way so it makes it a little bit it just kind of equalizes makes it a little more strategy have it makes you think a little bit more before you just go in and and, and do an attack so i don't know that that's one thing okay a couple other hot zims hot takes uh, here we go keeping with the hot takes and this is where again we're heavily into things i'd like to see changed about the game 
they need to have more eventually this game becomes all like your server i think the game was designed they thought that the, there would be a lot more battling on a server um throughout but eventually a server gets to the point where it realizes you don't want to be fighting as a server because you have these server versus server events and that's where you want to focus your energy so the, the sooner a server recognizes that and you just kind of grow together, share resources, do all that kind of stuff, um, the better off you're gonna be with these server versus server competitions because that's where everyone wants to transfer on to different servers because of this, that kind of community building that happens on a server. And so they basically, basically they just need more events that allow people to get that, bring in that war prod or top war a little bit more and I'd like to see a daily server versus server event. Um, something like a War of Odinium type of thing. The event that I've been thinking about a lot is like something where it's like a War of Odinium where there's one army going against another army and there's like a central item that you're trying to apply damage to. So you just kind of attack the central, central kind of idea, like a ruin type idea or a capital type idea where you just, and the, in the certain amount of time, whoever does the most damage on the central thing wins. And then within that, you can be attacking each other. You can also be maybe winning different kind of um, kind of facilities that help the overall battle. But it's just kind of like this this kind of really highly battle oriented moment where you're attacking this central idea, but you're also attacking each other. It's sort of like a War of Odinium, but tweaked a little bit. The other thing I'd like to see is kind of a battle royale version of Top War where you could lock, there's like this one server or really large server in a way dedicated to like this open world battle royale where there's kind of like sort of like missions that are on the server that anybody can attack. You can log on to the server. You can try to attempt to win something when there's like multiple other servers all trying to do the same thing and like you could bring over a squad from your server you could do this thing so like there's this kind of open world server that anybody can access and when you do something significant on that server it it actually helps your entire server like if you win something everybody on your server gets something out of it it shows up in their you know like system mail or something like that that oh x player one x thing on this battle royale server so everybody on your server gets something out of it i think that would be kind of a a cool thing i don't know how the mechanics of that would work how many people would be interested maybe there'd be a limit of how many players are allowed to enter off of one server so it's like i don't know you're only allowed 100 players per server and then they have to come back and you know heal up and then other groups could go in whatever something like that but it's just like a 24-hour opportunity to jump into this kind of battle royale environment and there's like things you attack other bases you attack maybe like ruin type things or you maybe maybe like in eternal land where you're gathering resources off of things and you kind of get more out of it during that time it's a similar kind of thing where if you're willing to risk gathering resources on this battle royale server it significantly increases the amount of resources you get but it also significantly um is, is more more opportunity to get you know destroyed doing it so i think that would be a cool that would be the, my mental vision for it would be super cool hot takes more hot takes another thing that i'd really like to see them implement in the game is dedication rewards more and significant dedication rewards such as for someone like me I've been logging in every day for 730 days plus it's actually probably more it's probably like 740 by now but I've been logging in every day. I would like to see a dedication reward. Something like, this is what I'm thinking. So the recruit skin that you have, the new, the skin that you get when you start off the game in a way that little, um, whatever it's called, this one, this recruit trial skin, make it something that this skin upgrades. So if somebody like me that's been playing for 730 days, this skin all of a sudden becomes a really good base skin. Not something stupid like the Golden Pavilion. I mean like, 730 days of daily logins like you get an extra march in there you get 30 percent attack bonus 30 percent hit point bonus and you know, maybe universal so you're not worried about unit type those kind of things you have an inventory of, of march size increase you got maybe march speed up maybe like just good stuff that you can get maybe vit save maybe more vit 
that would be a good one more of it so you increase your vid amount um you know those those kind of things so that's another zim hot take i don't know i think that's good that's those are some of zim's hot takes um maybe i'll make a part two of this soon but this has been my two-year recap of playing top or still playing on playing it hopefully you'll come join me on the live stream subscribe to the channel i'm trying to blow it up you know if the if the top war community decided to rally behind the zim video we would be the world it would be awesome so i really hope i can get your support i'm still here i'm doing it i'm you know i'm just gonna toot my own horn i'm the og longest running um top war content creator on youtube so i hope you guys will rally i love being a part of this community it's super awesome so Come, come support me. Help me out. Let's blow up this, this Zim video and make it happen. All right, my friends. Of course, if you ever have any questions for me, you know where to find me. I'm always around. But I'd love to hear your comments. What are your hot takes about Top War and what's going down? And what do you think about the game? And then also, you know, subscribe. Do all this stuff. Can't wait to see you in one of the live streams coming up. All right, my friends. As always, be loving, kind, and patient. Peace. Peace.